one knows how the story ends. Ready? Go shot the boy. But it starts here. Go shot the boy. The start of something special, man. Let's go. I'm Scott Patrick in the Disc Studio. Are you ready for some? Well, you say it, Scott Hanson. Football. Football. Are you kidding me? Football. And are you ready for some? Say it with me. Every touchdown from every game on Sunday afternoons. Scott Hansen is. He's back in the NFL Red Zone from NFL Network. Scott and NFL Red Zone and Dish have all been on the same team since the very beginning a decade ago. We've, We've gone, gone from, from quad box to octo box, and now it's seven hours of commercial free football every Sunday afternoon. And for Scott Hansen, it's also seven hours of no bathroom breaks. A recent headline has it right. If you haven't seen NFL Red Zone, you are missing football's greatest invention. I got the chance to sit down with Scott at the NFL Studios to talk about which teams are going to spend the most time in the Red Zone this year, what fans always say to him when they meet him in public, and how this fantasy team of his, the Iron Bladders, are doing. And, well, also how his Iron Bladder is doing. And now here is a double Scotto box. Scott, it's great to have you back on Scott, Dish. Scott, good to be with you. All right, you look great. How was the offseason? Uh, as good as yours, evidently. You're I looking... think we're both on what, the TB12 uh, diet? Is you know that... what? I have, to, I have to try and cut down to the beginning of the season because mm -hmm. my eating habits deteriorate through the season. I get distracted with all the touchdowns and all the action and stuff, and I'll, uh, my, my diet goes out the window by about Christmas, unfortunately. So i got to start off a little bit. Starting good. A little okay. Fit. So Tom Brady would be proud. Yeah. All right. So uh, before we talk about this upcoming season, let's talk about last season, mm -hmm. and we have you recorded. I asked you to make some predictions Where last season. Where are we season. going with this? Let's take a look at the instant replay. Make a prediction, if you will, on what team is going to spend the most time in the red zone this mm. year and what team is maybe not going to spend very much time in the red zone. Let's see. Can I give you two that I think will be featured a whole lot sure. on NFL Red Zone? In the NFC, the Los Angeles Rams. The other team I would say I think could really, really make some noise on offense and in the NFL this year, the Houston Texans. Not bad. 50% wow. and both playoff teams, both division winners. 13-3 and three of the Rams and the Texans started 0-3, yeah, but then they, they came it And they were the hottest team in football for a little while, but they, they couldn't break through and uh, make my prediction. So I think I know where this is headed. All right, we're recording again. Go. <sighs> Give me the two losers from, I don't want to call them losers, but the two teams that lost mm -hmm. the conference championships last year. Kansas City Chiefs one play away from going to the Super Bowl. New Orleans Saints, one play away from going to the Super Bowl. I think it might happen this year. What about uh, that other team that seems to creep back if in I, there? I, look, I know I'm being dumb by not <laughs> predicting New England, right? I, I say this, if you predict New, you can either predict New England every year mm -hmm. and eventually you'll be wrong, or not predict right. New England, and eventually you'll be right, because they are the default setting. So I feel silly not taking Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, but I'm still going to go against them. I'm going to go with the young gun, Pat Mahomes, out of the AFC. Again, it's recorded. How did the uh, Iron Bladders do? Iron Bladders, my fantasy football team, and you can tell by my facial expression. <laughs> Look, we had a great year. We were the highest scoring team in the league, which is what fantasy football is all about. But in the playoffs, it didn't fall our way. We just didn't have that. We didn't have the performance, uh, you know, in playoff time. And so lost in the first round of the playoffs, unfortunately. But my co-host on NFL Total Access, mm -hmm. Lindsey Rhodes, took home the championship. And I was the reigning champion. I was proud to hand the trophy to her. because she Still knows, in the family. She knows her stuff. Terrific. Still in the family. Real terrific. And last year, uh, no urine gate like uh, in 2017, <laughs> as far as we gate. know, right? No, I, I went. I had a clean season two years ago. It it uh, it ended, but this last year, clean. 17 weeks, no bathroom breaks. All right, so I think it's been at least 10 years now since Dish, Red Zone, and Scott Hansen yeah. partnered. It's been a great, great partnership. I agree. How's it changed since? Like the first time you said, every touchdown from every game. How's the sport well, changed, and how's NFL Red Zone hmm. changed? 
I'm so thankful for our partnership with DISH because you guys were one of the earliest adopters. Like it's available in a lot of places now, but DISH has been there from the beginning and their customers have been served every touchdown from every game. Think about this, if, you've, if, if you watched from season one when we partnered up with DISH all the way up until this last year, you've seen over 10,000 touchdowns in the course of that decade. Wow. That is serving the viewer, if I say so myself. So how how is it that seven hours of commercial free football well, times, it's, times, it's, times, 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 that's a lot. Uh, uh, there you go, seven times 17 for 10 times 10. Someone do that math in their head. You know, the new math where you can, uh, <laughs> uh, I can't. But uh, how has it changed? It's still geared towards the offense. The game has, I think, health and safety improvements have been tremendous in the NFL, and they're still trying to work their way through the lowering the helmet rule to see how we can teach the next generation of football players to play the game hard, fast, and physical, but clean and as safe mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. While that happens, the offenses seem to have the tactical advantage in terms of the contact and whatnot, so the touchdown totals seem to keep going up every single year. And of course, last year we had a, another quarterback throw 50 touchdowns. Only, only three times in history has that happened and, and it'll probably happen again. Maybe not this year, but certainly in years to come. Sure, and we've gone from quad to octo. What could we look forward to this year? Octo is, I think, our limit. Octo <laughs> is our limit, because we don't, we don't want to mess with it too much. The octo looks so clean. It's symmetrical, eight and octo box has such a great name sure. to it. Uh, we've had, oh yeah, we've had people, they, they name their, their fantasy football team something to do with Octobox. Right. Uh, people will send me a picture of something in a group of eight that like occurs in nature and they hashtag me on it or they, they tag me on right. it and put hashtag Octobox. <laughs> Look at, there were eight owls sitting in a tree at the same time, Octobox. Like, it's yeah. insane how the vernacular of the football fan has changed mm -hmm. thanks to NFL Red Zone. So when people come up to you in public and they have that look and they're coming toward <laughs> you, what are some of the things they say? You almost asked this question like you've heard the story I'm about to tell you. I'm in the parking lot of my local supermarket. I park my car and I'm pulling my, my bags out the back to walk into the store to go do my shopping. And I hear this voice, a male voice from like two or three cars over in the parking lot, give it to me, give it to me. And I'm like, what, what is going on? I look over and the guy's looking right at me, give it to me. And I'm like, instinctively, I knew he wanted me to say, seven hours of commercial free football starts now. <laughs> and so I did it for him in the grocery store parking lot. And you would have thought I handed the dude a, a briefcase full of hundreds. He was so happy. It, it is just remarkable how the audience, what, what I do and, and how we serve our audience has just married with this desire that football fans have to see everything, right. to see everything all the time and see it in real time. Every touchdown from every game, every team, every controversial finish, every wild moment in a game that it, it creates fans, which is short for fanatics, That's like right. like right. ours. Right. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Can you even use a public restroom or do you get the, oh, <laughs> so you do go to the bathroom. I, I, I have been. I have, <laughs> th there will be guys, if I go to, like, let's say I go to a, in the off season, I go to a baseball game or a basketball game or something and nature calls and I'm in there and someone recognizes me and they're like, oh yeah, and everyone's, everyone thinks they're the first, first guy exactly. to ever make the bathroom joke. Exactly. And, and when I get it on Twitter or Instagram, it's, hey, I've always I always wondered, and I don't even need to read the rest of the sentence, I know what it is. But you're nice about it, right? I try to be because, um, well, it's like uh, Chadwick Boseman, the actor who uh, he played uh, Black Panther. Right. He said, you know, I never meet a person that doesn't ask me to Wakanda forever, you know, that, right. that, like, that wants me to do the right. tag that I do. So the fact that we all experience it biologically and fans sit there for seven hours and they don't want to get up off their couch, but they have to a after a while, you know, enough beverages and you got to run to the bathroom and they, they leave and I'm talking, they come back and I'm still talking and they go, wait a minute, when does this guy go? So I always try and, and humor everyone who has the question because it's something that is fascinating and it's better to have that, even as quirky as it is, right. be a, a, a something that's a vehicle for my brand, if yeah. you will, yeah. than to not have anything or just to say, oh yeah, the, the guy who hosts Red Zone, I don't even know who that is or right. you know who that guy is. Right, it's a blessing, Yeah, not even, a curse. Even if I get mistaken for other Hansons sometime, 
Well, that leads to my next question. It's like you knew the question was coming oh, up. Wow. I Googled a few things, okay. like uh, questions oh, that Scott Don't Hansen Don't believe everything asked. you Google. <laughs> exactly. Is Scott Hansen related to Chris Hansen? Yes. Okay, Except the answer the is, yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm H-A-N-S-O-N, he's H-A-N-S-E-N, but I'll tell you a little funny story. I was doing a, an interview mm -hmm. with Peyton Manning. This is when Peyton was still playing. I'm doing an interview with Peyton Manning and I've interviewed him a bunch of times and we know each other. We're not buddies, but we know each other. And Peyton, thanks so much. Can't wait to play, can't wait to watch you play this season. I wrapped the interview. Well, Chris, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I look back and I go, and this was a satellite interview, so we're not in the same room. And I go, no, Peyton, this is Scott Hansen. Chris Hansen's not the one you want interviewing you on live television. And he had a laugh about it, and then we cut it and re-edited it with That's him saying, brilliant. yeah, thanks, Scott. So, I love that. No, not related to Chris Hansen, although I hear Chris hears it all the time that he gets asked, is Scott Hansen related to him? So, no, no relation. Very cool. Uh, another one, uh, how old is Scott Hansen? 30, 30? I, well, you I You can would, Google it. I would love, yeah, Google it. And it's older than you think. 30 is not even the right decade. And then I only say that because what is Scott Hansen's salary is the other one that popped up. What is up. Scott Hansen's salary? It's uh, more than $1,000. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm very thankful for the, for the work that... Uh, that uh, leads to my, uh, my career and my lifestyle that I have. Is there any job you would take other than this job if it was offered to you? I, I have the greatest gig because mm -hmm. if I was Al Michaels on Sunday Night Football doing play-by-play -play of what is often the biggest game of the week, I'd still be wondering, well, yeah, but what happened in this game or what happened in that game or what did this player do or what did that player do? So I love the fact that my job uh, not only allows, but requires me to keep an eye on every stadium, every team, every every big moment. Uh, that it's a thrill that that it requires me to do that because I'd be doing it anyway. Right. And then if I and right. I also I get to host the Super Bowl. Now it's not something that your audience sees at home on television, but if you had a ticket to the Super Bowl, the seventy whatever thousand fans, depending on what stadium it's in. I get to go on the Jumbotron and welcome people to the Super Bowl. And that's a pinch me moment. And that's part of my gig as well. And then, you know, when I announce myself as, hi everyone, I'm Scott Hansen from NFL Red Zone. Yeah. It, and it gets the applause that it gets. I'm like, wow, you people spend Sundays with me. And that's a thrill and a responsibility. I want to give our audience everything I've got. That's great. All right. so. If you just talk to the dish customers and tell them why they need to have yeah. NFL Red Zone. I would love to talk to the dish customers. We have like nine cameras here <laughs> though. So uh, to all the dish customers out there, look, I know a lot of you have been with us for years on NFL Red Zone. To you folks, I say thank you. And we promise to give you every bit of energy and excitement as you're used to in years past. To those of you who are hearing my voice and seeing my face for the first time and saying, who is that guy and what is, I've heard of this NFL Red Zone thing. If you have DISH, get NFL Red Zone. It is the absolute best way to get the 10,000 foot view of the NFL. When you go to work on Monday, if you watched NFL Red Zone on DISH on Sunday, no one will be talking about something in the break room that you didn't see live and you'll see over a thousand touchdowns this season, provided the NFL gives us that money, and that's a pretty good bet. So I hope you join us, NFL Red Zone on DISH, from September all the way through the new year. Brilliant, just brilliant. Yep. Yeah, Scott, awesome. always Thank good you. to be with you, man. Real pleasure. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Seven hours of football start now. We are loaded with every touchdown down the sideline from every game. Unbelievable! Every Sunday afternoon. Touchdown! We were built for days like today. You heard the man. Now's a great time to order NFL Red Zone from NFL Network. Now, the easiest way to add NFL Red Zone is with the Dish Multi Sport Pack. With the Dish Multi Sport Pack, you get all of your favorite sports channels for just $13 a month. That includes NFL Red Zone, NFL Network, Big Ten Network, Pac-12 Network, Longhorn Network, and those are just the football channels. To add the multi-sport pack, just visit mydish.com slash NFL, or just give us a call at 1-800-333-3474. That's 1-800-333-DISH. Order today and you won't miss, well, say it with me, every touchdown from every game. 
All right, uh, I gotta wrap this up. I kinda have to go to the bathroom. I'm no Scott Hansen. I am Scott Patrick in the Dish Studio. See you.